Ladies and gentlemen, dear friends, dear colleagues, it's an honor and a pleasure for me to welcome you at this most important conference. And this conference is concentrated to the exchange of information in the overall and very important field of solid wastes. To do this in this wonderful old city of Tunis is by itself a clear signal, yes? We have to do our utmost not to destroy the basis of our life by handling the waste of our consumption and production patterns. This is more than a marginal topic, as we know, around the world, especially also where there is a growing development of a better life, of higher consumption pattern, and we have an increase of those mountains of solid waste. And therefore it is good to come together and to ask, do we have common experiences? Can we do it in a way that in this region, your region, in the MENA region, we can come to a harmonized, experienced handling of this growing amount of solid waste? That is important, as we know. Again and again there is the risk that waste, also toxic waste, can be exported via national borders. Maybe that you know that in those days we decided once to have a convention to block the export of hazardous waste from developed countries to developing countries, to the so-called Baal Convention. We have to handle this in our surrounding as well. As an old minister for the environment, I have a lot of experience in those cases also in Europe. So, to cooperate, to be aware of what kind of waste is produced and how it is handled is a common endeavor. And this is very necessary directly and indirectly for human health. We know that waste can be really a burden for water can have contamination in the soils and can have direct toxic consequences for human health. All this together makes it absolutely necessary to analyze, to have the right information coming together. And we don't want to forget that, especially also the young people in the region, the MENA region as well, they expect that there will be economic development a reality, giving them the chance for good jobs and for changing the situation of their lives in their families and in the perspective also for their children. And to have economic development makes it absolutely necessary to have resources, to have energy. Waste is to a high degree exactly linked with national resources, linked with energy. It is necessary to stop this throw away society having in mind that we are throwing away exactly more and more valuable sources of economic development in the future. That what we learned to close the cycle, to make a life cycle economy a reality, to recycle, to reuse, to repair to decrease the amount of waste so that we can have also economic benefits. Again, we learned the lesson here as well. We learned it in a very dramatic way because we had a lot of problems already in our landfills and other places. Therefore, to throw away must come to an end. We are going in a world with up to 9 billion people. When I was born, 1938, it was 2.7 billion people. 9 billion people. They all want to have a decent life. They need economic development and therefore they need energy and they need national resources. A world with 9 billion people cannot be a throwaway society. It must be a circular economy. That's very close to what we learned with a discussion on the green economy as well, but it's much more concentrated 
on the topic you are confronted with quite now in your conference in Tunis. Therefore, once more, it is great not to do it isolated for the one or the other. Yes, we have the responsibility on the national and also on the local level, no doubt. But to learn what are others doing, to cooperate, to avoid also very, very critical movements of waste, to make this uncontrolled deposit, to make it a health risk, this all can be and must be avoided also for the sake, for the better perspective of economic development in our countries. I personally had a lot of experience in the MENA region in my time when I had the responsibility for the United Nations Environment Programme headquartered in Nairobi in Kenya. Yes, also there and everywhere in Africa. I learned again and again that nature is a wonderful master. Nature doesn't know waste. Everything is integrated in a circular move. What is waste on the one side is the input on the other side. How can we go in this direction? How can we make this world a wonderful place, a peaceful place for 9 billion people all together and for those people living and being actively involved in the future of the MENA region of all those wonderful, wonderful nations, great nations with a lot of basic historical heritage but also with a chance for the future to contribute to the welfare of their people. This makes me a little bit ah, unsatisfied that I cannot be with you in Tunis. But uh, be assured you have wonderful cooperation also with our colleagues and friends from the GIZ. We know that this is not concentrated to bring technologies, but to bring knowledge and cooperation to your activity in this region or the West. Have a good time, enjoy, but also be open for the cooperation beyond borders, borders of all kinds, of borders of nations and local communities, but also borders of thinking and corporations. This must be a borderless cooperation. Then it will be successful for the benefit of the people. Thank you very much.